claps, we're ready tonight. Three claps. Three claps. Three claps. 27 years ago, I sat in this locker room just like you guys on a knee getting ready to play a game. I walked down the locker room, it still smells the same. It takes you back real quick. One of the things that caught me was how fast 27 years goes by. Hello again, gentlemen. Um, I know we've been introduced already, but uh, just to be consistent with these other videos, uh, I'll introduce myself again. My name is Dallas Gildon. I was linebacker for the Rams Pass Panthers uh, from 97 through the 1999 seasons, and I wore number 44. Um, and I was one of the fortunate ones to get to play on that state semifinal team in 1998. Uh, some of our, my larger accomplishments are um, first team all district, all district defensive co-MVP and first team all South Texas. Um, first wanted to congratulate you on the win against San Diego last week and for your still undefeated district record. I hope uh, these wins uh, continue to bring momentum and confidence as you go after that district title and on to that state title. Um, I hope you remember and implement the things that we've shared with you uh, over the past few weeks that have made the 98 team so special. Um, you know, we've discussed that total commitment to the team and the goals that you set. Uh, we discussed leadership and uh, what it takes and the importance of it. Um, the importance of preparing yourself mentally and physically for every game, practice, workout, film session, whatever it may be. Um, you know, we talked about having that never give up mentality no matter what the obstacle may be. And last but not least, we've talked about, you know, just having fun. Enjoying the, enjoying the ride, enjoying the time out there. Um, I wanted to share something with you that, that I thought was, uh, it was important to us on the team. Uh, each one of us had this sitting in our locker, so I want to read this to you. And it says, a thought. This is the beginning of a new day. God has given me this day to use as I will. I can waste it or use it for some good purpose. But what I do with this day is important because I have exchanged a day of my life for it. When tomorrow comes, today will be gone forever. I hope I will not regret the price I paid for it. So uh, hopefully that, that those words sink in. Uh, this was something that was important to our team. Each one of us had this in our locker. And if it's something that you want uh, to include in your locker as well or something that you want to read, I can certainly get with the coaches to, to get you a copy of it. Um, before I go, I wanted to share one quick story with you. Um, now, you've heard us say, um, you know, these are the best times of your lives, so make the best out of them. You've heard us say, leave every, everything on the field with no regrets. So <clears throat> I wanted to share this with you. This is, uh, take a look at this jersey here. Notice that number on it. This, uh, this was my dad's jersey. My dad was a running back for the Panthers. Uh, in the mid to late 1960s and was part of some of those successful teams that you've heard of. I guess you can say the purple and gold colors do run deep in our family. <clears throat> um, as, as you know, dad was also a, a very involved with the youth here in Rancis Pass, as many were. You know, he coached many of my teammates in various sports over the years. And if you ask my, uh, my friends, you know, teammates, they'd say that, you know, he was a good man and, you know, they loved him. Um, my dad passed away five years ago at the age of 62 after a long six-year battle with cancer. And we've talked about how these days are the best days of our lives, so enjoy them. <clears throat> Not long before dad left to go be with the Lord, uh, all he wanted to talk about was football and how much joy and fun that the 98 and 99 seasons brought to him and his town, uh, getting to travel, um, you know, going to different towns, the different stadiums, rooting for his boys that he helped, you know, raise. Um, for him, these were the, these times are so important to him that he spent some of his last moments of his lives talking about them. So I just want to mention again, you know, enjoy this time. Make the so enjoy this time, gentlemen. Uh, make the best out of it. Um, you don't get this time back. And uh, so give it all you got. Um, now you have a big challenge this week. Um, Lifer's carrying the same record as you on the season, and uh, they're also undefeated in district play. 
So uh, they're also flying high right now on momentum and confidence, and uh, they're after your title. Um, let me ask you, are you going to hand the title over, or are you going to go out there, give every bit of effort and strength to bring home this district title? Remember, it's up to you, and good luck, guys, and uh, go get them Panthers. Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Aaron Rathbone, and I was a member of the 1998 AP football team. Uh, I was a junior in 98, and I actually played JV ball. Uh, I was subsequently bumped up to the varsity once we advanced to the playoffs. Uh, I'm sure I'm not going to tell you guys anything that you haven't already heard. I just wanted to kind of give you some insight of what I think worked for us to better us as a team, and maybe some advice that um, you can take with you and put to better use in the future. Uh, first off, and I know you guys have heard this a hundred times, you seniors, uh, this is it. Uh, there are no second chances. Um, there is no other option other than for you to leave it on the field each and every time. Uh, this means the uh, uh, practice field as well as the game field. Um, it, it's just that simple. You need to make the best out of every opportunity you have out there. Um, I'd really like to take some time to uh, address the underclassmen as well. Uh, whether you guys realize it or not, you are just as important to this team as the seniors are. <clears throat> Uh, you are the future leaders of this team and will be called upon to execute. Uh, you owe it to the coaches, you owe it to the seniors, and more importantly, you owe it to yourself. Uh, you need to set the tone for the underclassmen coming in behind you. Um, as a junior myself and, and not a starter, it was just as important for me to go out each and every day and practice as hard as I possibly could to give the first team offense and the first team defense the best possible looks that I could. Um, our coaches consistently referred to things of this as doing the little things right. Um, and this is something, honestly, I've carried with me throughout my life. Uh, I know some of you may think that, that you're not important or that you can't contribute as much as a starter can, and, and that's 100% inaccurate. Um, you have the choice to make a name for yourself or be satisfied with being second team. Um, like I said, I was a JV starter that was bumped up during the playoff run. I was 135 pounds soaking wet and probably 5'5 at the time. So. Um, to say I was at a slight disadvantage would probably be a little bit a uh, little bit accurate, um, but I had a choice to to, to make it, to either accept it or or take advantage of it, um, and I chose to take advantage of every opportunity. The following year, I was an elected team captain and, a, and a, by the team and, and a two way starter. We had another great playoff run as well in '99 and fell short of our goal at the regional semifinals. What we accomplished and. 98, 99 will never be taken away from us, and I wish that you could feel the pride and emotion uh, when we speak about it to each other, our family, and our friends. Uh, I'm excited that you all have done such a great job thus far, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys keeping the momentum going. Um, I'm expecting to see you guys play all the way through the holidays. 48 minutes to play and a lifetime to remember. Go Panthers. How's it going, man? Steve Alanis, number 68, starting defensive end for the 98 football season. A little background on me. Is uh, I started varsity ever since I was a freshman. I uh, got honorable mention my freshman year, all district. I got second team my sophomore year. I got first team my junior year. And my senior year, I ended up breaking my leg like one game in the district, so I ended up not getting anything. But uh, very thankful to my uh, teammates for making it to the playoffs, giving me a second chance at playing football. You know, very grateful for that. Uh, some of the things I felt that made us better than other teams was probably uh, we worked hard every off season. We worked hard each and every week, whether it be at practice, uh, weight room, film study, all that makes you better. And just knowing uh, they can only run a certain amount of plays out of each formation and knowing exactly where you had to line up and what you needed to do on every play, no matter what it's called. It just makes it that much easier, you know. It takes a lot of thinking out of it. All you got to do is uh, line up and get after somebody. That was the funnest thing for me to do, you know, just get after people. But uh, another thing that I felt gave us the edge over other teams is that, I mean, we were so close and so tight with one another, you know. And also we had that confidence that every time we stepped on that field, we knew we were going to be better than that other team. You know, some people might say that that's arrogant to say, but I mean, who cares what they think? If you don't think you're, uh, if you don't think you're better, that you don't think you're bigger, you're stronger, you're faster than that other guy, chances are you're probably not gonna be. So, I mean, all I can say is go out there and. 
play hard, play with intensity, have fun in what you're doing, you know, because you only get one shot at being great and making history for yourself in Aranza's past football, you know. This is something you could talk to, talk about uh, the rest of your life, you know, with your kids and your family and all that stuff. Nobody could take that away from me. So I just want to say uh, good luck on the rest of your season. Everybody's behind you 100%. We all know you can make this happen. Thanks for your time. All right. Hey, what's up, Rams Pass Football Team? My name is Mike Galvan. I wore number 22. I was a running back slash tailback uh, throughout my high school career from 97 to 99. Just want to say good luck to you guys. Uh, I know that you guys are facing the last two games of your season and possibly heading into the playoffs. Uh, I just want to say keep up the good work. Uh, some of the things that made us successful in this situation was the two-a-days and being in the weight room and coming together as a family. That's most important right now as you head into the last two games. Just remember the hard times that got you here and the reason you're here right now. You have an opportunity just like we had uh, when we were in your situation 16 years ago. Keep up the good work. Your hard work and determination will carry on with you throughout your life and well into the future in your careers, whatever you decide to go into after football. Thanks for letting me do this video. Go Panthers! Let's get them, baby! Let's go! Come on! Hey guys, my name is John Stansbury. I wore number 59. I was a starting quick guard, uh, pulling guard, weak side guard uh, for the Panthers. Our offense was known as the tank. Uh, I'm sure after watching our highlight tape, you know why we were called the tape. Anyways, I hear you guys have a have a chance to do something special this year. Uh, that's awesome. You know, it's it's something that hasn't happened to Aranza's Pass, for Aranza's Pass in a really long time. I'm sure your team goals uh, beginning of the year was to make the playoffs and and right on top was to, to win that district championship. And it's right there, you know, it's right there in, in arm's reach. You, you guys can go get it. You know, it's hard work to get where you want to go. It's, it really is. It's hard work to achieve something that you've bled and sweat for. It's hard work, but it is doable. Um, you want to know how? It's, it's, it's doing the little things right. It's doing things that others won't do. It's running to the whistle, doing that extra uh, rep in the weight room. It's carrying out your fakes all the way through the play. All that stuff really matters. It really does. You know, we weren't the biggest team. Uh, we weren't the fastest team. But we were big and fast and we were extremely strong. We were very disciplined. We were very conditioned. Uh, no one in the state outworked us in the state. Nobody outworked us. Uh, we left it all on the field. We left it all out in the weight room. You know, a lot of teams were extremely exhausted playing us in the fourth quarter. We were a fourth quarter team and a lot of games are won in the fourth quarter. So, you know, and we had a sound ball control offense. We had a kick-ass defense. You know, our, their mentality was swarm. Everybody flew to the ball um, with an attitude to go with it. Our, our football program, we developed our own little swag, and we we knew what we were going to do with the football, and we did it, you know. But uh, enough about us. Uh, I know you guys will have some stories to talk, to talk about as well once the season's over with. So I want to say good luck to you gentlemen. You know, cherish the moment, seize the opportunity, live in the now, embrace it. Um, play for the guy next to you. Play for your coaches, play for your family, and play for our town. You know, represent us well. Uh, and in the end, I know you guys will be champions. Go get them, guys. Good luck. Hello, Panthers. My name is Gordon Cavlin. I was number 53, starting strong tackle in the 1998 semifinal football team. Your coaches have asked us to put together some motivational videos for you guys as y'all are heading in to uh, try to win your outright district championship. Um, you guys have a unique opportunity in front of you. Even though we had a great season, lots of great memories, uh, outright district champion is one thing we weren't able to accomplish. So good luck, congratulations on that. Um, some things about myself, I started on varsity when I was a sophomore, started, started at quick tackle, uh, moved over and started every game after that my junior and senior year uh, at strong tackle. A few awards that I got, I was a all-district lineman uh, for a couple years and all-South Texas lineman my senior year. And in my senior year, I was invited to play and played in the Shriner East and West All-Star Game. Um, <clears throat> so I have so much I can say to a young athlete, so I'll try to keep it short 
Uh, as you finish up your regular season, don't let the future cloud your vision. Stay in the now. Uh, your coaches have told you since two days, take it one game at a time. Uh, your end goal will mean nothing if you stumble over your next opponent. Remember, anyone at any time can walk out on the field and beat you. Control your emotions, do your job, and trust that your brother next to you will do his. Um, speaking, of, uh, speaking of trusting your brother, when you're between those white lines, your brother is all you have. Uh, play every down for your brother. Don't play for yourself, your parents, your town, or your coaches. Uh, play for the brother that's been there with you through two days, through the weight room, through the film rooms, there in the locker room, that's put in the work and the sweat and the tears with you. Play for them. When all this is over, and unfortunately it will be over one day, uh, someday you'll look back and reflect on your days as a Panther. Uh, you'll remember the games, the crowd, the records, uh, and many things about the season. Those things will fade. Those things will become a little harder to remember. Um, the thing you'll never forget is the brotherhood you have with your teammates. Um, 17 years later, you'll be able to uh, get together and look back and recall all the great memories you have. You'll remember just how a certain coach got in your butt to do every little thing right. Um, you'll share that memory and no one else will ever understand what you're talking about. <clears throat> Play every down like it's your last because you never know when it will be. You could win out the season, roll through five postseason games, and end your career like that. Um, you could be eliminated the first round of the postseason and your career could end like that. You could walk out on the field and the very next snap you could be injured and that could be the end of your football career. Um, and you'll never set foot on the field again. No matter how you finish, never save anything for the next play. Give your brothers everything you've got every down. One day you'll look back on your time playing and how do you want to remember the way you finished? Play hard every down. Um, don't try to live up to anyone else's legacy. Make your own. Good luck and go Panthers. My positions were halfback and strong safety and also kickoff return. Uh, first of all, congratulations on you all season and going for the district championship. That was something that uh, we were co-champions, but I'm, I'm glad that you all have the chance to make it outright district champs. A um, little bit about myself. I actually moved from Rockport in 96 to Aransas Pass and got to play with an amazing group of guys, got to know an amazing group of guys, got to trust them, um, the coaches as well. So I'm glad I made that move. Um, you know, the one thing that I have to say about our team in 98 was the camaraderie that we had, the trust that we had, um, looking out for each other, um, getting on to each other instead of the coaches having to get on to us, you know. Everybody's got to act like a unit and that's the one thing that I think wins championships and wins games is, you know, trusting the brother next to you, making sure that your job gets done as well as, you know, helping out your teammates when they're in need. You know, you you can never really understand, or nobody can really understand the, the, the trust and the camaraderie that, you know, some football teams have. So I hope you guys are that kind of unit and work that kind of way. Everybody doing everything right the first time and doing 100% all the time, not 50%, not anything, 150%, 100% all the time. Uh, you know, Play the 48-minute game that you're going to go out there and play. Make sure that you leave everything out on the field because, you know, you could go on to college or you can just go on to do whatever, but make sure that you leave everything out on the field. You know, play that 48 minutes hard. Make sure that, you know, you uh, have trust in each other once again. And uh, no mistakes, no penalties, because those are going to really hurt y'all in the playoffs. You know, you got to step up your game once you all get into the playoffs and you got to do everything right. You know, that was our that was our saying, you know, do everything right, the derelicts. And, uh, you know, thank you, coach and staff, for putting this together. And, uh, you know, you guys are doing a terrific job, job with these kids. And, you know, keep it up. You know, let's, let's put in a new tradition and let these kids have their new legacy like we got to put in ours. You know, that was 35 years in the making for ours. 
So you guys need to step it up and, you know, put AP back on the map again. You know, make this town proud again. Get the, get the Panther spirit going. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys, and good luck this season. So my name is uh, Chris Kurtz. I was number 51 uh, starting center for the 98 team. I uh, just wanted to say congrats on your season so far. Uh, keep it up. I uh, also wanted to say uh, what I believe made us the team that we were is that we were a team. Uh, we were in it together. We were in it for each other. We succeeded together. We failed together. Uh, everybody on that team is your brother. Uh, that's that's what met, truly makes a team. Uh, also, wanted to say that uh, whenever you are walking off that field, headed back to the locker room, make sure you're not bringing back anything with you. You make sure you leave it all out there on the field. Uh, I think another thing that uh, helped us out was uh, every Friday afternoon for lunch, us all going up and uh, wiping out Pizza Hut's buffet. I think that uh, gave us a boost. But uh, anyway, again, congrats, guys. Uh, good luck. Uh, you got a few people out here in Charlotte, North Carolina, pulling for you. See ya. What's going on, fellas? My name is Frankie Lopez. It's an honor to be making you this video. Reason being is because I bleed purple. I'm number 34. Yeah, I'm that halfback that would come and bust you in your mouth so my brother can make it into the end zone. I've been to some of your games. Y'all have the talent to make history. Take it from me. 48 minutes to play, a lifetime to remember. Discipline, hard work, and commitment are the key factors here to success. I'll never forget this one scrimmage. It was on a Saturday. We whooped the shit out of that team by three or four touchdowns. We ran straight into circuits afterwards. I'll never forget, I promise you I will never forget, that coach's voice for the other team yelling at his players. That's why y'all lost. Look at those guys. Those guys are going to be champions. So what I'm trying to tell you here is losing can't be an option. Let's go, Ranger Pat!